Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. How are you all, my dear students? I'm here with a new lecture. And this lecture is about the genetic basis of the ABU blood group. As I have discussed in detail uh, about the ABU blood system. So in this lecture, uh, I will continue from the previous lecture which I delivered yesterday. Before discussing the genetic basis of the ABO blood group system, I will uh, here revise uh, something related to alleles and multiple alleles. Yesterday, I discussed about the little bit about the multiple alleles and now I will explain it with the help of example uh, quoting ABO blood group system. So now I'm going to start my lecture. Before discussing the genetic basis I will recall something related to allele in a very brief way. What is allele basically? Allele is an alternative form of the gene. Some genes have variety of different forms which are located at the same position or genetic locus on a chromosome. I have discussed in my previous lecture about the homologous chromosome and the dominant allele and recessive allele, about the genotype, about the phenotype, etc. And also about the alleles in detail. So what is allele basically? This is the alternative form of the gene. Each pair of allele represent the genotype of the specific gene. As we know that alleles um, exist in pair at the uh, locus, which is known as a genetic locus on the chromosome. And sometime this pair is homozygous and sometime this is heterozygous. And homozygous may be dominant homozygous, may be uh, recessive homozygous, may be um, in any form. Like if it is heterozygous, so, uh, so one uh, in this case, one allele is dominant over the other. So this is just a little bit of information uh, I want to share and recall my previous lecture. Uh, before discussing the genetic basis of the ABU blood group. Now moving towards the next slide. ABU blood group system is basically controlled by the gene A and B. So A gene, as I have told you, that A gene give rise the A antigen and B gene is responsible for the B antigen. And if the O, there is no antigen A and antigen B. So this ABO blood group system is the example of the multiple alleles. As I have told you that um, gene exists in pairs and uh, mostly two uh, two alter, uh, two form two alternate alleles are present on each locus on homologous chromosome but in this case there are more than two or three like in this case six common allele so in multiple allele system uh, you can inshallah further uh, learn about the uh, other examples like eye color and eye color etc. So here 
I will show you how the multiple allele exist and this is actually the genetic basis of the ABO blood group system. You can see here on the slide that A gene blood group blood type A, B, A, B and O. So first one is the A. A gene is basically which is which is uh, giving the blood group A. You can see here the allele for the gene A exists in homozygous as well as heterozygous form. I A capital I A is dominant over the small i. These are the symbolic representation of the uh, I A, A gene alleles. So you can see here two allele for the blood group A. This is homozygous both I A I A capital I A and the, this is the heterozygous for the same blood group I S capital I S small i. So I have given you a concept about the dominant and recessive. So you people know that I A capital I is dominant over two i. Here i small i is the recessive gene. So this type of the genotype, if inherited to the next generation, the child will be with blood group A, maybe homozygous, maybe heterozygous. Same is the case with the blood group B. You can see here the two alleles for the blood group B to form. One is homozygous, both IB, IB and other is the heterozygous with capital IB and small i. So in this case again IB is dominant to i. If the uh, genes allele inherited in this form to the next generation then you can see here if it is present in any individual in this form in homozygous form or in this form in the heterozygous form both are what they are having blood group B. Next, AB blood group. I discussed in detail about the, in my previous lecture about the codominancy. So this is also the example of codominancy. In this case, both A and B genes express equally and uh, you can see here both allele IA and IB because they both are dominant so they co-dominant they show co-dominance and uh, both of them express neither of them uh, will be recessive both are dominant so the uh, the person will be what IA IB will be AB blood group the next, the last one is the O group. In blood group O, there is no genotype, no antigen A and uh, antigen B. You can see here the genotype of the person II. This allele is actually uh, will not produce any antigen. This is the recessive form of the allele. This is recessive allele like IA and IB both are the dominant and they are able to produce antigen A and antigen B but this recessive allele do not produce any antigen. So if these two recessive alleles are present then the person will be of blood group O type having no antigens A and B and I have discussed that this person with O blood group don't have any antigen A and B but have antibodies 
E, uh, AB. I hope so. The blood types, their genotype, the dominant allele and recessive allele, and the pattern of their inheritance will be clear upon you people. I will discuss the other topic related to the ABO blood group system, which is the RH factor. And I will discuss in detail about the RH factor in my next lecture. I hope so. It will be clear upon you people. If you have any question, ask me. And I will try my best to solve your uh, question. And thank you very much. Kindly like this video and share this video and subscribe my channel.